This is a story about control. My control. Control of what I say. Control. So this Natural Hair Care 101 is going to be very simple, very easy. Not a lot of information um, is uh, website related. It's, it's, a lot of it is just pure common sense. But I still thought it needed to be addressed. Um, because I think it's something that we definitely take for granted as being naturals. Um, and just having hair in general, I think that um, we've, we've taken steps to be more gentle with our hair um, by not putting any chemical in it. And we think that that's like the threshold, like we're done. But it really isn't. We really, really need to learn how to be more careful with our hair and learn how to treat it gently. How to um, finger... Um, detangle and really be gentle and taking apart a tangle instead of just ripping just rushing and ripping through it so probably the first thing that I would say as far as um, and, and this natural hair care 101 is talking about being gentle with your hair the first thing I would say is do not do your hair when you are rushing I cannot stress that enough if you feel like that you are rushing with your hair just put it in a puff put away you're going do something but do not fool with your hair when you're rushing because you're going to get frustrated with it and then you're going to be yanking and pulling and brushing and combing and, and you know it's just going to be crazy no if you're going to dry detangle please do it with your fingers just you know sometimes and I do that sometimes before I get in the shower is I'll just kind of go through with my fingers in a small section and just pull some hair apart use you know I try to use both my hands to just pull my hair apart also, we're going to talk about pulling the hair apart. When you're relieving your hair from twists for, um, or braids, from a twist out or braid out, for a twist out or braid out, be gentle when you're doing it. Put a little oil in your hands um, and then unravel as you go because then you're lubricating the hair. You're adding a little moisture that it needs um, as you're going along taking out everything. Um, the other thing that I would say is, is while we're in the shower, just be gentle, you know, scrubbing your scalp. Just treat your hair like what it is. It's something that's dead. Um, so, you know, respect it and be careful with it and honor it um, because it will yank out of your hair, you know. I just feel universal law with hair as well, you know. Uh, it's going it's gonna to give back to you what you give it. So, um... I really strive to be very gentle with my hair, with my daughter's hair, especially when you're doing somebody else's hair. That's when the whole patience thing really comes into play, especially when you're dealing with a seven-year-old. Um, and so that's why a lot of times I do get her hair braided or I get it corn rolled because I know in the mornings, I'm not a morning person. I don't really want to sit here for 15 minutes and put your hair in ties and you're all over the place. So it's best to be get it corn rolled or braided and then that's something we don't have to worry about in the morning. But still I still care for her hair. We still moisturize. We still wash. We still give it the care and maintenance that it needs. Um but definitely definitely let's start treating our hair um better by making sure that we're wrapping it at night or we have our silk pillowcases, our satin pillowcases, satin bonnets. You really just want to treat it with TLC all the time because like I said when it sprouts from out of your scalp it's dead if it wasn't when we cut our hair we'd be in pain it is dead that's why we had no feeling of it so we really need to learn how to preserve it and treat it good so uh, that also means cutting down on the combing and the brushing there's a lot of things that we can do just with our hands um, and I, I like to try to be a minimalist with as many things as I can be. So sometimes I'll test the limits and see what can I just do with what I have around me. And that kind of helps me to be able to rewire my hair without having a bunch of tools around and a bunch of, you know, things around. So I've even taken my brushes out and moved them away so that they're not sitting right there with me so that I can't just go to them. So that means you know, smoothing with your hands. And the hair is pretty pliable. It will do what you want it to do if you just take the time um, to do what it needs from you. But that's, you know, you. I'm sure we all have hair in our brush. And, you know, I wonder where that's coming from is a lot of that 
the actual shedding or is it breakage and you're going to be able to tell breakage and shedding shedding is just when it's is hit the life cycle of the hair cycle you know of the hair lifespan um so it's gonna break away and be loose um and if it's just your normal shedding you'll see the little white the little white speck at the end the little white cell at the end if not, if you're just looking at a little curly cue that's falling or um, I have a piece right here and it's probably breakage. It's probably not shedding. But there is a difference between shedding and breakage. Um, so just really giving the hair its 10 and 11 care. When you're twisting it, when you're braiding it, just be gentle and take your time with it. If you can, maybe prepare some of your style at night. And that way in the morning you're just finishing it up and you're just, you know, unraveling or you're just twisting together or you're, you know, you're doing a style that's easy to do in the morning. So that's what I've been doing a lot of times at night. If I'm wearing it out in a style like this, I want to prepare at night for it. So that's just the gist of this video. I don't have any more really to say than this treat your hair um, like it deserves to be treated. So that's all for this Natural Hair Care 101 series topic. Hope you guys enjoy it. More to come. Let me know if you've got a topic that you want me to discuss and I'll research and we'll come up um, with some answers um, and we'll find some answers out. So so talk to me. Let me know if you're liking this. If, if you're saying we got enough of these on YouTube. Kirsten, be honest with me y'all. I'm, I'm not thin skinned. I'm, I'm, I didn't take it. You know, when you're doing stuff like this, you got to be able to take criticism. So let me know um, if you like it. If that, I got some more topics in mind that I want to talk about, but I just wanted to take it back to the basics uh, because I think sometimes we get so caught up in the extremes um, that we neglect or forget about the basics of just having natural hair and just remembering just to love it. Um, I know I was at work the other day and I just had this epiphany and I was just like, I'm so glad that I learned about this. Because you know, some people will go their whole life and they'll never know about natural hair. They'll never be able, they'll never experience it. And it's just such a blessing to be able to experience. So I think that's why a lot of us get so caught up in our hair because it did take, a, it did take strength and um, tenacity to get to where we are. Um, so yeah, I am all about hair now. You know, my husband is like, if you're not reading about it in a book, you're reading about it online. If you're not reading about it online, you're watching it online. And I'm like, because it's so fascinating to me that I got to be a part of this movement, this journey. It's wonderful. And, and if my daughter decides at 12 or 13 that she wants to get a perm, I mean, that's cool. But she's going to be able to say my mom did some things with my hair, but some really different things with my hair. And she may come on back later on. Now she, you know, you gotta experience some things. You gotta, you gotta know to grow. So, that's it. I'm about to wrap this up because my computer is about to die and I don't want to cut off on me and cut the video off and waste all the time that I just spent on you guys. So, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. My little red light is blinking on me. Time to plug her up. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.